Well, morning. Guess what we're up to today. I think it's a wasted journey, but you can't come to Loch Ness without going to look for that monster. So anyway, I've been into the information office, which is over that way, and they've got pictures of what the monster looks like, so I know what I'm looking for. Apparently it's a long snaky thing like that, with a funny head that sticks out of the water. Anyway, we're going, going, we're only, we're gonna walk down to Loch Ness, which is about half a mile down there, okay? So this is uh, the bridge that we showed you the other day when the boats come through. But look, look, all these people here on this boat, can you see the boat there? They're all going on a boat trip to find the Loch Ness Monster. I think they must have a better chance than me, mustn't they? Anyway, let, let's go. I'll just show you where we've got to go. Let's turn the camera around so you can see. Yeah, we've got to go along along this path. Can you see that path there? And apparently Loch Ness is down there and hopefully we'll see the monster. Yeah, I've checked on the clock. It's due to appear at half past nine in the morning. <laughs> Get up with it. Well, there's the uh, the spirit that I think what was it called? Spirit of the Ness. They're going out to find the Loch Ness monster. So I wish them best. It was only uh, not that expensive actually to go on the boat. So we might do that another day, mightn't we? And that uh, is where we've come from, from the town, which is down there. Looks like I've got a bit of. Uh, let's clean the lens with. Ah, oh, that's better. Yeah. So. Uh, that's where we've come down. There's another boat there as well. We do not want to be going out later. And this is part of the Calid Caledonian Canal. And there they're going, into Loch Ness. Well, let's go. It's not much further to go. I can't wait to see the monster. Right, so here we are at the famous Loch Ness sign. Proves that that's Loch Ness, doesn't it? Now, have a look, you might see a, you won't see a monster, but then we've got to join in the car, haven't we? There's a, a few ducks down here, they don't qualify, do they? But apparently this lock goes, it's not a wide, big lake, it's not a big wide one, it's a very thin one. And it goes from here all the way down to Inverness. About 20 miles long, I think, 40 miles. You'd have to check, check on Wikipedia, or Nigel will let you know how long it is. But apparently it's quite deep, yeah. Uh, I read a fact somewhere, and I'm most probably totally wrong, that there's more water in Loch Ness than there's in it, all the other lakes and locks, all put together. That makes sense. Did you understand it? I didn't, but there you go. Anyway, look, look there's another there's another boat coming out. To, to, let's have a show you the other boat. What gets me is, uh, since we've been here, uh, and we've been here just a day and a bit, is how many foreign people are here from all over the world have come to Loch Ness to see the monster. But they must know it doesn't exist. Well, it does in your imagination. Anyway, and this is it. Uh, St. Saint Augustus, which is the village that we've just come from. And there you go. Uh, you can actually, I don't know if you can see the, the motorboat there, there it is. You can actually hire boats here if you want to. Uh, and you can spend a whole week touring the Kalanodia, can, 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 what? Canal? <laughs> uh, so yeah, Kalanodia Canal. You can spend a whole week touring it. That would be good fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, so there you go. Anyway, let's do a, let's do a nice scan for you. Just to see if you can see the uh, the monster <laughs> I don't think so do you there we go uh, yeah, it's a nice view out there though isn't it look at that it's ever so smooth ever so smooth and I'll just uh, I don't know if you notice but just down here uh, let me just move the, the camera for you just down here there's a man who's doing uh, kayak hire so so if you want to take your life into your own limbs, which obviously you would do if you went on a kayak, wouldn't you? Uh, you can go out and actually kayak round, round the lock. That would be good fun, wouldn't it? Well, it would be, wouldn't it? Anyway, uh, yeah. Let's go and have a look at some more, shall we?
Well, that's looking right down Loch Ness and uh, the two boats that uh, we just saw leave are over there. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, let me just show you. There's, there's the touristy boat and the other boat. And uh, as I say, at the end of the locks uh, is in Venice, which gives you a, a access to the North Sea. And then you can go all the way up the lock and then you join this bit here, which is the part of the Can Canadonian Canal, which cuts right across Scotland in half. And it goes all the way to Fort William, which gives you access to the Atlantic. I presume it's the Atlantic, the other side, is it? Yeah, sure, it must be. Yeah, and it actually saves you having to go all the way around the top, top of Scotland. And you can get quite big boats down here, so, so that's quite good. Uh, what I have noticed, there's nowhere here to have a tea or coffee, but if we look on the other bank, over the other side, there's a lovely little cafe there, so I think that might have to be one of our visit spots, don't you? I think so, yeah. Anyway, onwards and upwards. We haven't seen the monster, so uh, I'm very sorry. I, I do apologise, but uh, uh, you can't have everything, can you? So there you go. It is quite stunning though, isn't it? It's a place I've always wanted to go to because as a child you've always heard of, of Loch Ness and uh, uh, you know, the history of the monster. Uh, so, there we go. That's Loch Ness for you. Right, and uh, here come the lucky people who have been on their boat trip along the Loch Ness. Uh, I think it's about £20 a head to go on the boat to go and see the monster. I don't know if they saw the monster. Well, let's have a look at their faces. If there's any smiley faces, then they've obviously said, no, no, no. They all look as if, no, no, they've not been, didn't see the monster. But apparently the uh, the captain gives a wonderful commentary all about the history of the monster and everything. So uh, if you want to do the trip, I suggest you do it. Because uh, it's quite a nice boat, quite modern, a catamaran -y thing in me jib. So there you go. Anyway, we're going to carry on walking round. Right. Well, we've walked... Uh, sorry, let me get in shot. We've walked over the other side now. We was over... Let me just show you. We was over on the other side, which is over there, where that ready thing is. Can you see? And we've walked over to this side to get a cup of tea or a coffee from the little, what they call the Boathouse Restaurant which is, let me just turn, which is there. Look at that, that's lovely. And you see, look, you're part of the boat. And unfortunately, like a lot of places in England and Scotland at the moment, well, there's a boat going out. Uh, staff shortages and uh, routine maintenance, so they're not going to be open until Wednesday. So we're going to have to come back Wednesday to have a look at that. But this is a lovely spot, this side, uh, stretching right over, over Loch Ness. Let me just turn you around, there you go. And, uh, yeah, you can see all the, uh, the boats there. You can see the big hire boat right down the bottom. Uh, that's right down there. And uh, let's go all the way around, yeah. But no monsters, unfortunately. But never mind, eh? You can't win them all, can you? No. <laughs> I think the chances of seeing a monster even more, I, I think I've got more chance than most probably winning the uh, the lottery. But there's a lovely old house here. It was called the Highland Club. So we can have a walk around there. There's a nice path there and some benches walking along the side of the river or beside the lock. So we're going to go over there and walk along there. But you must admit, this is a quite a lovely spot here, isn't it? Anyway, uh, it's a shame that's closed. We'll have to come back Wednesday. Well, that was a disastrous morning. We spent two hours looking for a monster. You're talking to the camera, not me. <laughs> and we've never found it. No, it's not there. I've been brought up here, all the way up to Scotland, under false pretenses. They told me there was a monster in that lock, and I never saw it. Anyway, but what I have got is a beautiful cake. I don't know what they call this in Scotland. What do we call it? Millionaire biscuit. A what? Millionaire biscuit? Yeah, we call it a Shrewsbury biscuit. A Shrewsbury biscuit. And it's got a jelly top on the top, yeah, orange one. Anyway, we're sitting outside the Legion, which you're allowed to go in. Cheapest beer in the village. 
I should know because I had some. Anyway, let's just turn you around and just show you. Uh, we're sitting on the side of the locks where we watched that big boat come up and down. There he is. So we're sitting there, and there's a couple of boats coming up now. Anyway, so there you go. I'm going to finish my Shrewsbury biscuit, my Shrewsbury biscuit, and my cup of tea, which was wonderful, might I say. And we'll speak to you later.